so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We're asked to add and subtract, then state the domain. For the first step, let's write the given sum or difference with all the denominators in factored form. So for the first fraction we have x divided by the quantity x minus three. x minus three does not factor. Minus one divided by the quantity x plus three. x plus three does not factor. And then we have plus three x squared divided by the quantity x squared minus nine, which does factor. This is a difference of squares. This factors in our two binomial factors, where one binomial factor is x plus three, and the other is x minus three. Now we know in order to add or subtract fractions, we need a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator. So looking at the denominators of all the fractions, notice how the least common denominator would be the quantity x plus three times the quantity x minus three. So we need to rewrite each fraction with the denominator of the quantity x plus three times the quantity x minus three. Looking at the first fraction, notice how the denominator is missing a factor of x plus three, and therefore to create an equivalent fraction, so the denominator is the least common denominator, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the quantity x plus three. Looking at the second fraction, notice how the denominator is missing a factor of x minus three. To create an equivalent fraction, so the denominator is the LCD, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the quantity x minus three. And this third fraction already has a denominator that is the least common denominator. Now that we have a common denominator, we can add and subtract these fractions. The denominator is going to be the quantity x minus three times the quantity x plus three. And now we add and subtract the numerators. So here we have x times the quantity x plus three minus one times the quantity x minus three, and then plus three x squared. And now let's simplify the numerator. Here we distribute x, and because of the subtraction, here we can think of distributing negative one. So x times x equals x squared. X times three is three x, so we have plus three x. Distributing negative one, we have negative one times x, which equals negative one x, or minus one x. And negative one times negative three is equal to positive three, so we have plus three, and then plus three x squared. And now we combine the like terms in the numerator. We have two x squared terms and two x terms. X squared or one x squared plus three x squared is equal to four x squared. And then three x minus one x is two x, so we have plus two x and then plus three. The denominator remains the quantity x plus three times the quantity x minus three. Now we need to check to see if this does simplify by factoring the numerator and see if the numerator and denominator have any common factors. But the numerator does not factor and therefore this is a simplified sum and difference. But we still need to determine the domain of this expression. To determine the domain of a rational expression, we begin with all real numbers and then determine what values we must exclude. We exclude the values that make the denominator equal to zero because division by zero is undefined. So notice how we have a denominator of the quantity x minus three times the quantity x plus three. Which means we must exclude the values that make these factors equal to zero, which would be the solutions to the quantity x plus three times the quantity x minus three equals zero. Well, x plus three is equal to zero when x equals negative three. x minus three is equal to zero when x equals positive three which means the domain is all real numbers except negative three and positive three. I hope you found this helpful.